But are you going to publish some sort of community guidelines that say, hey, if you want to apply for funding, this is how you do it? Yeah, so what will happen is we'll sweep the ideas. Some will be um, voted on by the ambassadors because it's not the community management team that's picking who gets funded, right? It's the ambassadors that are kind of um, that uh, that decision, decision-making process. Um, what do you think, Andy? Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, so... <laughs> No, I think that's a good idea. You, at some point, you have to make a decision. I'll give you an example. Philippe and I ran contests, and I made a few mistakes. And um, a few people may have got upset, but in general, I'd say 95% of the people were pretty happy, and a few people didn't carry their way, and a few people may have got upset. But mm-hmm. it happens. So you you got to have a process, and you guys came up with the process. Well, the flow diet is the sausage-making machine. It's how you grind the sausage. But the well, outcome well, is, you know, how do people get you know funded? So what, what, one important distinction is separating the idea submission from the allocation of funds. So if you submit an idea, you should be rewarded, and, and that's a separate thing, to them picking who is the best person to execute on the idea. And so that's about making it competitive and making it open. So Andy or you could have a fantastic idea, but we should give people the opportunity to, to bid or to um, try and execute on it, right? Lots of people might be able to do um, execute on the idea. So we want to make sure the best people get selected and we want to make sure that people can understand why those why that person was selected, you know, to, to get the funding to do it. Ah, that makes sense now. So there's... It's not automatic that if you think of the idea, you get the funding. That's not how it works. If you think of a great idea, that's a very valuable contribution and you... And if it gets executed, there should be some kind of reward of incentive. But it does not follow that you get the funding. You, what you're really doing is saying this should be done. Then we need to go and identify what the resources are and, and how that should be done. And then we want to say to people who who here is best suited to doing it. And then we want to make sure that we pick the right team or person to execute on it. People get funded for doing the work. Got it. Is yeah. that right? They get funded for doing the work, but we want to pick the right team or people, not just automatically fund whoever thinks of the idea. Totally makes makes sense. sense. Makes sense. No, it's good. That's a good distinction because there are dreamers and then there are doers. There are people that put the ideas out, but they can't exactly execute it in a in a in a good fashion. So that's good to have those checks and balances to make sure that the correct people are implementing what the community wants. So. That's not a great way of describing it. Dream yeah. isn't do. I'm going to steal that. So if you see that, <laughs> dream is a fantastic way of describing it. Yeah. That's really good. Dream isn't do. Yeah, that's how. That's how it is. Yeah. <laughs> I really like that. That's really good. Yeah. We we need the dreamers. We need those people. I yes. call them the good idea fairies. Sometimes I'm the good idea fairy, and then Philippe is the guy who actually. You know, that's the good idea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And you got to have it, though. Yeah. 